Okay, so today we have the lab about the dialysis and it is a very short one and you will be mimicking or modeling the cell with its biomembrane which is semi-permeable too. So you will be given three secret solutions and all you know about them that one contains starch, another one glucose and third the protein. So BSA stands for uh, bovine serum albumin so this is protein and you are also given the test reagents to identify your secret solutions so you will be given the iodine the Benedict solution and the Bradford uh, reagent so in the lab manual you will see the explanation of the results of the reaction between these components or reagents with our secret solutions. And on the first step you will be given nine Eppendorf tubes, so each tube is 1.5 milliliter and they will be marked 1, 2 and 3, so you will have three sets of these tubes and of course they correspond to the um, secret solutions. So what you do, you add one milliliter of these secret solutions into these tubes. So they will be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Which means the secret solution three goes to the third Eppendorf. Okay, so what happens next? You add the test solutions and you add them row by row. So in this case, for example, you take the Benedict solution. For the second row you, you add Bradford and to the third one you add iodine. So for first two you add 200 microliters and for iodine you add 50 microliters. And you observe if any of these secret solutions reacted with the Benedicts Bradford or iodine. After that you document your results in the table so you can find these tables in the manual. Okay so the step two of the slab would be the dialysis itself so you are modeling the real cell so you have the dialysis tubes and they have the uh, cutoff so molecular weight cutoff of 6 to 8 kilodalton and it is about six to eight thousand grams per mole. So this is the cutoff for these dialysis tubes. And you add about two, uh, 20 milliliters of these secret solutions. Then you put them in the beakers and cover them with water. So you stir them for 60 minutes. And after that you are going to collect one milliliter from the beaker which means you have this beaker with, uh, with the tube inside. So you take one milliliter from the outside and one milliliter from the inside. Okay, so you put them in the separate Eppendorf tubes and they will be marked as 1i, 1o, 2i, 2o, 3i, 3o. And after adding the test reagents, you write down the results. And on the basis of these results, you make the conclusion for the whole lab. In the results video, you will um, be shown the, uh, the Eppendorfs, these ones and you will have the chance to see some little change of the color in the three outside. So here is the question that you need to answer. Do you see this difference and why it could be? So why there is a difference, okay? So this is the end of the plan and next you will see the videos themselves.